I think I always knew somehow that art would be a part of my life. And before I made my decision, it was very, very important for me to do a year of war, um, as an exchange student. But guess what? I did it because Concordia gave me a birth, like a full on bursary. So that started very young and that started here in Canada. We were being taken care by an organization called OFQG, Office Francophone de la Jeunesse. Uh, anyway, it was kind of an organization between France and Quebec. I was on the bus and everybody were going like to the south, like well, who, who's going to Nice and who's going to Marseille and who's going to Montpellier and all those cool places. And that guy, look at the list, it's like, who's going to Cape Paris? So it's like me. So, why the hell are you going there? Yes, yes, exactly, my auntie. And uh, she helped me through the process as well. She always encouraged me and, you know, I experienced something that was not expected at all. At this particular school, there was a big gallery space. And at everybody, every student at some point would have to go and put their work in the gallery space. And then the teacher would come and critique your work. It was a very traumatic experience. I'm glad I did it, but for years, after that, I still had nightmare. During those years, art was definitely not of my priority. But I was still going to see shows all around London. Like, come on, London is a great place. Like, there's exhibition, there's museum and everything. So I was still, you know, I would still keep current about everything. I always had that, that fire inside of me that I needed to do, always do something, always see something. At some point I had to calm down and that's when I started to think a little bit more of what's next. 